So uh, I have a patient um, here today who um, I've actually never met until pretty recently, but he's a friend of an uh, employee here at the clinic, and so um, I thought he would be a good uh, example. I did have a chance to examine him. He twisted his knee playing basketball, and he heard it pop, and it's something that felt okay in the immediate aftermath, and you know, since then he's had some ongoing uh, issues that seems to be bothering him more and more, even though he's less and less active, and that's, that's obviously a a bummer for him. He feels like the knee is displacing laterally a little bit or like the the lower part of his leg is is moving to the middle and on exam he's got quite a bit of tenderness over the the proximal aspect of the lateral collateral ligament um, and, uh, and 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 he's got a little bit of swelling in the joint itself. Um, he's also got and, and when you when you test his ligaments there does seem to be some laxity of that lateral collateral ligament and of the anterior cruciate ligament as well and so the ACL might need to be repaired um, uh, surgically, but um, I think I can maybe still help him today by, by injecting the, the lateral collateral ligament and injecting into the knee joint itself. And so, you know, until such time as uh, it's possible to maybe do a more expensive imaging and potentially surgical management of that, I think he's a pretty good candidate for, uh, you know, a quick and easy uh, prolotherapy injection. Mm -hmm. Okay, so I'm just going to be doing a couple of markings here. The first one over on this side is, people sometimes refer to that as the eye of the knee. Um, it's the best place to get into the knee joints, according to most people, I expect. There's other places. You can go to the lateral aspect. You can go here as well. But that feels like a pretty good spot to me. And, uh, and then I'm going to be feeling for um, the uh, proximal end of the um, lateral, or sorry, yes, the lateral collateral ligaments. So you said you're tender kind of about there. Mm -hmm. And how about that? Yeah, tender right there. Okay, so I'm just going to mark that as well. Um, so on the on the model, um, this is the the correct side, right? So the first joint, the first spot, the patella has been removed here, but the uh, the eye of the knee, the spot where I'm trying to get into the joint is kind of that gap right there. Mm -hmm. And then this is the proximal end of the lateral collateral ligament where it's attaching to the femur. And so that, I'm pretty sure, is that point right there. And he's got tenderness there. And that's consistent with his injury. I think he's got some laxity of, his, um, of, that, of that ligament. And you can also, it's a little bit subtle. You probably can't see it on tape. But if I, uh, just relax your leg. If I try to pressure that ligament, yeah. it's just, it's spongy. It doesn't lock the way it should. Like if I go this way, it's like a rock. If I go this way, it's it's uh, it's kind of elastic, and I think that means that the the that ligament is is lacking in structural integrity. And it's true that that integrity could be that lack of integrity could be coming from from anywhere along the joint. But he's not tender down here. There's a nerve there that I kind of don't want to hit. Um, he is tender here, and usually when the ligaments um, get damaged, they're, they're, they start to pull away from the bone. So that the the uh, the junction between the bone and the ligament is the weakest spot. So when you're tearing a ligament because you were playing basketball and you stepped on it wrong or whatever, and you put too much pressure on it, you're going to get more tearing at the bone. So I'm going to um, to try to shoot that spot. And, and so yeah. the idea is by injecting in the dextro solution, then we're going to stimulate endogenous repair. Right, right. So I'm, I'm, uh, I'm injecting six different things, um, and, uh, and, and we'll talk about that sure. um, in a minute. But uh, yeah, so this is an ozone generator. This is an oxygen tank. It's got a f pediatric regulator with a flow rate. Um, this is an ozone generator um, with a dial that allows you to determine the concentration of the ozone that you want. Uh, I'm going to give it just a second so that I can get fresh ozone in the tubing. Probably doesn't take all that long. So cool. what I'll do is um, I'll, I'm going to inject about four cc's into the knee, um, and then I'm going to clamp the needle, um, put on the uh, ozone syringe, do about half of the ozone, and then uh, and then I'll do the other side as well. So. So it's more like prolotherapy 2.0. This isn't the standard. This is a more advanced approach. This is some people call this prolozone. Prolozone. Um, and uh, I think it's um, I think it's wonderful. I think it's got some nice advantages. I think the ozone is a real significant addition, um, and it's much more convenient, much less cost effective than you know PRP or stem cells.
Uh, okay, so um, uh, this is just cold spray. It's going to take the sting out of the needle a little bit as it goes through the skin. One, two, three. Feel that in there? Okay. Mm -hmm. So that's that one done. You know, obviously you're trying to get all the way in there without touching the femoral condyle there. Yeah. It'll hurt if you do that, but it happens sometimes. Yeah. Um, okay, so here comes the other one. I see my spot. Is that lidocaine of sorts or? Uh, it's just cold, basically. Yeah. I'll tell you in a second. All right, okay. one, two, three. This one's going to be a little bit more painful. Yeah, I kind of felt that a little bit. Um, it was nice and crunchy, so I know I got the ligament insertion site. Mm. Um, I'm going to inject most of the medicine. And then I'm going to come back and shoot the same spot with ozone. And that's it. I would say definitely for about four days, um, I would like you to take it easy. Um, I don't think you're going to have a significant increase in pain. Um, but it'll be a little bit sore for that amount of time. Should I put like a knee brace on there? No, I mean I think that uh, I think that given that you have some instability there, um, a knee brace is probably not a bad idea if you're doing anything sporty. Um, specifically, one that's probably going to support your ACL. Um, but over the next four days, you can just not play any basketball. Yeah. Okay, that's it. Thank you. You're good to go. Cool.